Hello everybody, this is Serpent, and welcome back to another episode in iCraft, or rather in the uh, Minecraft um, multiplayer menu. <laughs> oh, someone just left. Gasp. <laughs> anyway, I have had a tip-off that there is something waiting for us at our base, and I'm not sure why I logged out. Ah yes, ah yes. So we are currently not at my base, so I'm, I'm pretty safe here then. Um, I will... Uh, Actually, I, I can show you this thing. It's pretty cool. Hold on one second. I need to check that my, uh... Yeah, I turned that down to, uh, to four. I was, I was wondering why I had a little bit of a, uh... Um, short render distance. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time for all the loading to happen. Here's hoping I don't die. Alright, so, actually, we had a, uh, a little bit of a contest the other, the other day. Um... I didn't, I didn't film it really, um, but we were making flying machines around town. That one's mine. Very schnazzy. Uh, I think this one. Ooh, I, I don't know who's who this one is. I, I, I would imagine it's, uh, it's Tom's. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. And then Lynn's and and Beaver and I think maybe Tom's also did that one. And that one's Mikey's. All look, all look pretty good. Ooh, this one has an inside. <laughs> Neat. Anyway, I need to uh, I need to investigate my base though to make sure that there's there's nothing too nasty afoot, and I will uh, I will see you right over there. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> What's this? What's this thingy? <laughs> Don't donate to our cause. Enough is enough, huh? All right. I get the, the general feeling I, I might have to release those guys. <laughs> they seem cooped up. <laughs> Angry, huh? PETA. <laughs> of course, it's always PETA. <laughs> Leave baby animals alone. What? <laughs> I, don't th I don't think I did anything to baby animals recently. <laughs> Adult animals? Now there's a different story. <laughs> Oh, poor giraffe. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little giraffe and elephant. Poor things. Whoever did this. Peter protest. Oh, nope. <laughs> First page. Archaeologist just found a lab hidden beneath Serpent's Desert where he has been doing inhuman experiments on animals. Come see for yourself in the desert next to Serpent's base. Peter protesters have, have the site surrounded. They are still investigating. Serpent has not spoken to the media. Did he truly commit these crimes or has he been framed? I tell ya, I was I was framed. I was framed. I tell you, <laughs> they're fake. They they uh, they're not really baby animals. They're they're grown animals in disguise. Okay, serpent, you've been bad. Your animal experiments made you victim to this prank. The only way to clear your name is to prank it forward. Ah, uh, Luke and Jen. So I can't prank it to Jen. <laughs> we have something of a uh, of a rivalry going on. You know, Jen, someday we'll meet in court, and, and when that happens, <laughs> boy howdy, there'll be a reckoning. <laughs> oh, by the way, what they mean by, by prank it forward, um, I'm supposed to prank someone else other than them. Awfully convenient, don't you think? <laughs> hmm, now, we could cook the pita protesters <laughs> uh, into a sort of bread, right? Pita bread? <laughs> Iron ingots sort of sort of do look like bread, but yeah, I, I need to think of something to do with this. Well, that was fun, but I think the next order of business is either we want to make a storage system, because we are grossly in need of one, or I also want to try and make this thing a little a little more efficient. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, you go over there then. Okay, so... Ooh, <laughs> that didn't flow very far, did it? So what I wanted was to try and get some kind of a, uh, a sort of flowing water stream across the top of this thing, uh, which would allow us to maybe push the uh, the things that we punch over into a hopper once they've floated up, which would be rather convenient because currently it's a little bit difficult to swim around in them. It's not so easy. So I'm going to see if I can get that working. It looks like I'll have at least a little bit of problems, a little bit of trouble with the uh, getting the water to flow though. Turns out I can't get that idea to work. Uh, sadly, when the uh, when the kelp grows, it refills some, it 
it refills the um, flowing water with a source block, so there's no way I can get it to stay flowing, which is a little bit un unfortunate, but we can get around to it when we actually build a good farm for that, so it's not, not entirely lost. <laughs> However, can I get through this? I would love to get through that. I bet I can't. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll punch through it. So, what I want to do today is get some uh, get some sort or storage room set up, and I figure this building is probably going to be where we're working and, and existing, so we should probably put it in here somewhere. That seems like the Great Hall, so we we don't want to put it there. That might that might be a place for dinner tables and, and stuff, um, and nearly headless go headless ghosts. Um, <laughs> However, this place here seems like it would be a pretty good situation. So let's uh, let's clear out the floor here. Uh, I think I've got an entrance. Maybe this is the only entrance. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to clear out the floor, and then we can put some chests in here, and finally have a place to actually store things. Alrighty, I've got the floor in, and I've got some chests in. <laughs> I've started to label them. Um, I don't think we're going to do both walls and chests, mainly because I've got a whole a whole wall already, and I've sort of run out of ideas. <laughs> you can see I, I couldn't think of a, a name for this check, chest here. I couldn't think of anything to put in there. I'm sure we'll start uh, needing more, more names than I've already supplied, more categories, but we still have two rows, so I think we'll probably have enough, enough space there. However, all the chests, save for one or two, are uh, pretty much empty, <laughs> so I think we ought to begin um, transporting stuff from my my junky chests over there into the good ones that we've just developed. <laughs> Finally, the last chest. Wow, that takes a long time. Um, mostly because I have to run back and forth between these two places every time I want to uh, move a chest. However, we are finally done with that set. I see a couple more over over there, but I think those are holding supplies for the insurance shop, so I might not move them just yet. Um, even if I do though, I don't think they're entirely full like the rest of them. You can see I've got a couple more signs now. <laughs> the uh, storage system is growing into its own, and all of the uh, all of the names are suitably vague, so I can uh, mostly fit what I want into where I want it, <laughs> as opposed to having things so specific that you can't actually uh, use the storage system. <laughs> oh, full. No. Why? Looks like we're going to have to make another storage system. However, I'm going to uh, chuck the rest of it in here, and uh, I'll see you in a moment. Cool. Now that we have the uh, stuff moved over, I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this outline, this uh, wall that we've been putting together. Um, actually, I've been doing most of this in between episodes. Um, but I just found, uh, <laughs> what a surprise, with a new storage system I actually managed to find something. Um, I actually found some more materials for this, so I'm going to see how far it gets me. I've got about four or five-ish, uh, I started with five stacks of uh, um, sandstone wall there, and I've also got some diorite stuff, so yeah, we'll see how far it gets. Turns out it got us pretty far. We started pretty much about there and got all the way over there. So it looks like we're going to have to use maybe another five, well, okay, another five stacks of, of uh, sandstone stuff would probably get us to about there. So maybe, maybe another uh, ten-ish. We'll finish the wall. Ow. <laughs> However, I think that'll be that for this episode. Got some good stuff done that will help us uh, help us push forward in the in the long run, especially that. <laughs> Not so much the wall, perhaps. And we got pranked, so we shall uh, have to plot some kind of recuperation or comeuppance. That's the word <laughs> um, for that. And uh, I think I think head trip will be on the receiving end of the comeuppance. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.